Greetings all you seamless designers. The first thing you need to make a seamless texture is a texture that's not seamless. I've got this lovely image by Michaela Parente from Unsplash. Sorry if I butchered your name. And to make this seamless, let me first drop it into new composition. I'll be using After Effects, although you can do this with practically every image editing software once you know how it's done. First thing to do is to make sure you've got two layers. Name the top one Main and name the bottom one Seams. Now the top one you want to move so it's perfectly centered on the top left corner. And then you will want to extend that image. I'm going to use a Repetile effect to extend it out to the right and also expand it down so it covers the entire image. Next up, make a new layer that we're going to use as a mat. On this layer you want to mask art so it's just literally a sort of plus shape right down the middle of your image. Then you want to make sure you soften that up nice and tidy. And tell the main layer to use that as an inverted alpha mat. Now technically this is a seamlessly tileable texture. If I was to repeat this, you wouldn't be able to see a single seam anywhere. Compare that to how the original one was, you can quite clearly see that it's a very sharp lines wherever the texture repeats. But our version is now technically seamless. But it looks a bit fady, doesn't it? Simple fix to that too. I'm going to add an effect to the mat called Roughen Edges. And what Roughen Edges does is that it roughens the edges. I'm going to crank up the border value on this so it roughens it even more and also slightly scale that up as well as increase the complexity. All of this is just to add extra detail around these edges. Now if we look at the result of that, it creates more natural, jagged seams rather than just fady ones. Compare with to without. Now look at the tileability of that and I dare you to spot where the seams are. Spoiler alert, this is where they are. All that's left to do now is just to revel in your own genius. And the great part about this is that this technique works with just about any texture, within reason, as long as it's reasonably evenly lit. Next time I'm going to show you how to make lava bombs or aurora borealis. I haven't quite decided yet. I I'm really happy for you, I'm let you finish. But that is not for me to decide. See, I made a Patreon last week, and my eternal gratitude goes out to all nine people who found it so far, but especially to those in the top two tiers. Your names are hereby immortalized. And Tyler, as the only current titan, for now, it is up to you to decide which tutorial gets made next. Vote wisely. But until that time, thank you for your time, and as always, stay in motion. looking for a way to support my tutorial making, the best way to do that is to tell every freelancer you know about the Process of Motion course. It's going to help them make nicer work for nicer clients, and it's going to help me make more of these tutorials. The link to the course is in the description.